guess what I'm doing today? I just got my wedding dress out for the first time since I was married and it's almost 10 years old. I also just got my mum's wedding dress out um, and I am going to have to do something about restoring it because it hasn't really lasted the test of time. The sequins have completely turned yellow. We're washing Nanny's dress so maybe I can wear it when I get married. Okay, so put that scoop in. Scoop into the glass. There's hot water. Okay, but Hendrix, mix it around. And it's mix it really good. Mix it really good. Okay, Callie, can you put that into the bath now, please? Whip in this the one. Bath. Straight in and then mix it around. And then we'll put Nanny's dress in. Oh, excuse me. That's not okay. Get off. Get off, get off. Okay, so when this is clean, there's no way this is happening. Okay. No, no, Hendrix, you have. No, no, you got it on me. Now we're doing the hot water soak. Yeah. And we're going to soak it all day long. Make it all white. Yeah. And then we hang it out to dry. Yeah. And then we have to dry in the dryer. Maybe not the dryer, sweetie. Maybe we're just hanging on the line. What are we doing? Um, dress. Dress. So the wedding dresses have been soaking for two days and I'm happy with some of the items, but some of them, I can't seem to get the little yellow stains or red stains out of them. I can't work out what it is. Anyway, so this is the wedding dresses here looking super white, but... The sequins are still pretty yellow, so I don't really know if they can be saved. I've got our 30 year old age spots here that I cannot remove no matter what I do. Um, yeah, kind of sounds like my face. Pigmentation, can't get it off. Wedding dress, wedding dress, mixing a wedding dress, wedding dress. Okay, this is day four of soaking my mum's wedding pieces and I just cannot for the life of me get this kind of like red rust stain out of it so I'm about to give up but I just filled the bucket with hot water again and um, more nappy sand soak I've done the paste the paste still hasn't gotten rid of it um, okay so I just found this chest here at a discount shop for 60 bucks <laughs> and I'm going to use it to put all of our wedding heirloom pieces in I'm um, not sure about the flower look, but it's okay, and I think it'll be pretty in a couple of years for my little girl to open her wedding pieces and have a look through. When I was trying to find cute little things to add to the wedding box, um, I stumbled across all of our little couple books. And how cute is this one? Oh, upside down, sorry. This is our engagement. We're little babies. <laughs> and I found this book that Phil gave to me when we were first dating. It's like 101 Reasons Why I Love You. So cute. And did anybody else like make cute books for each other? Because we've got like 10 million books <laughs> of all like, oh, that's so cute. Like, oh, sorry, that's Pan's Love or it's kind of freaky. But collecting like movie tickets and oh, it was, it was beautiful. <laughs> Here are the results of soaking wedding dresses for five days in nappy sand. And the sequins are still yellow, so there's nothing I can do about that. Um, we're going to have to replace them if we want to fix the dress. Here is our old 80s ring cushion. It came up beautifully, so no little strange stains on that anymore. Um, if my daughter wants to use that, <laughs> then it's all good to go. This one was soaking for so long and no matter what I did, I couldn't remove those little stains there. So we're just going to have to replace that. Oh, I just noticed those stains. Damn. So that concludes my wedding dress soaking restoration. I just went onto eBay and purchased these garment bags here. And I'm going to wrap them up all nicely and put them in the chest. Okay guys, she is packed and she is ready to go and be opened again. 
with a nice bottle of champagne when we're wedding planning. 